continuing along with our um, movie series, my collection, and I have to say that I don't have all my movies. Some of them, a lot of the ones I don't watch very often are packed away because moving, but we're just going through the ones I have on me at the moment. And this video is titled Literally Everything Else. <laughs> So we have this one, which is one of my newest acquisitions. I got this uh, along with my Scooby-Doo Courage crossover movie. This is the slipcover. This is the actual case. And here we go. Weirdly enough, I think the one with the bowler hat is supposed to be Pigpen, maybe? But that's not what he wears in the film. Like, none of them have this hat on. Why is it drawn this way? Huh. I don't know. It's just a weird detail I noticed. Um, we have my American Girl 4 film collection. I actually have these two as separate DVDs that I had when I was younger and still have probably... I know I at least have this one because I had the 25th anniversary release of it. <laughs> the other two included our kit and Molly, which is the only one that I hadn't seen prior to getting this collection. And I remember getting my kit film because uh, I wanted one Scooby Doo movie, my sister wanted a different one, and we were arguing about it. And my mom. Oh, my mom. She was trying to build my dad through the options we had. And then finally, she, I don't know how she found it or what shelf she found, but she put it in my hands and she's, I, I went from, but I want this movie to, I didn't even know American Girl movies were a thing. Like, I shut up instantly and my mom's like, you want that? And I'm like, mm-hmm. Okay, then we have the Complete Jetsons, which includes the Jetsons Meet the Flintstones crossover film. And like I mentioned with the uh, Scooby-Doo 50th episode thing, see, that's the thing. They usually come with episode lists. See? This one has a directory. My Scooby-Doo film does not, which is very weird and slightly annoying. But like, this number is all the discs, and it even shows you which ones, or which one is the bonus film, like disc number seven here has it, and they're all flip out. Other things I have that I cannot, don't have, like, directly at the moment, are the, uh, the complete Danny Phantom series, and, um... Seasons 1 through 3 of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power, the Netflix show. I want the original She-Ra on DVD and Jim, Jim and the Holograms, which they sell on Amazon and I just haven't bought it yet. Because I keep forgetting it's there and then I see it and I'm like, I need to own you, but I don't have money right now. Well, I do, but I need the money for other things. And then we have Grandpa Cat's Worst Persons Ever. This is actually another one of those replacement copy situations because mine got damaged to where it wouldn't play. And I love this film. Grumpy Cat's hilarious and she should have got another movie. I miss Grumpy Cat. This one is falling. They're falling and... The light keeps shifting in my room like it doesn't know what to do with, it, with itself. Do you see that? But we have this copy of Carmen San Diego, the original 90s cartoon, which is my favorite iteration of Carmen. One of my favorites. And this is the whole series, and then weirdly enough, did you see that? 
this is how they're stored in the case, which is not helpful. It's frustrating. Because they fall out all over me every time I open it. I don't know who decided this would be how they did it, but that person needs a stern talking to. And then I have the 75th anniversary edition of The Wizard of Oz. I have a second version of The Wizard of Oz from like 2005, maybe, ish. And then I have this copy of Matilda, which is one of my comfort movies. It has a lot of how they did the uh, film, how they made it, bonus feature things. <laughs> I have this Barbie movie collection, which is four of random Barbie films. So it's Princess Popper, Charm School, Diamond Castle, and The Secret Door. Legitimately, these two are the ones I watch the most. I'll watch this one on occasion. I can never sit through this one. I've seen it probably in its entirety once. And I, was, I sat there and was like, I'm not entertained by this movie. And my parents would say, that's because you grew out of it. Oh, no, no. I watch Barbie films on the regular. <laughs> I just didn't find that one to be entertaining. <laughs> I can hear my baby sister. And we have this copy of Five Feet Apart. Weird thing about this. Oh, I dropped it. Weird thing about the slip cover. This image is from a bonus scene that was, or like a scene that was cut from the film. But it's included on the, uh, come on, why won't you come out of there? But that's what it looks like. That's what it really looks like. But this, uh, I don't know why we decided on this slip cover. This particular scene here is not in the movie. It's in the bonus features. <laughs> so I, I did see the scene. But then I have this for movie collection, which is Monster High. And this is Bath. These are like the first four Monster High films they released. I think. With, uh... Actually, that wouldn't be true, because... The first special they released was Musical at School, where it was animated like the webisodes, and it was 30 minutes. I can just see if I can get that on DVD. But then we have Wonder Woman, which is a glorious two hours. Oh, I remember. I didn't get to see this film till I was in film studies senior year of high school. My teacher, I asked him what we were watching, and he's... He didn't tell me, but he put his hands up to do, like, the W's, and he, I figured it out, and I was like, finally, because every time I saw this DVD in the store, like, every time I had money, it was too much, it was too expensive, and it was always on Blu-ray. I don't have a Blu-ray player. I have a regular old DVD player, and I really wish my whatever's changing with the way the light looks on my camera would stop doing that. It's frustrating me. And then I have Mean Girls. This is my personal copy because I kept borrowing my stepmom's. And then one day I couldn't find it because I'm half blind and I just ordered it. And yeah, that's everything else in my movie collection. That I have on hand. <laughs> it's everything else. Bye guys.